And now that we have our JDK, and now that we have our IDE, it's time to actually create our first project. And this is also going to be our first, very first, actually, Java application. So we're going to just go over here, right? And there we have a create new project. I'm going to click it over here. And once you can see over here, if this one is going to be highlighted, we're going to be creating a new module, right? But we just need to make sure that our SDK, right, is actually the path that we said before, right? Because if you'll have no SDK, this is not going to be working, right? So over here, what we're going to do is we're just going to click next, right? And then we have an option with the checkboxes, create project from the template. And we're actually going to skip this. Now, in later videos, we're actually going to be using this option, right? But from now, we just would want to create everything from the start. So I'm going to click next over here. And then over here, it asks for a project name, right? So I'm going to say over here, green, right? Because over here, you can see that this is going to be desktop Java tutorial greeting, right? This is going to be our project name. This is the folder that we're creating, right? And this is in the desktop. Now, obviously, you can create your project whenever you would like, right? It's just easier for me to actually create it in desktop so we can see what we're doing, right? Then over here, we're going to click finish. And over here, now we have a two windows, right? We have a left one, right? This is going to be the projects over here, right? And for now, we just have only one. But obviously, as we're going to be moving along, there's going to be a few more classes and everything over here. And over here, this is going to be the editor window. So what we're going to do over here, you can check it out, right? We have the greeting folder. And then over here, we have a source. We go to the source and we do over here new. And we say new Java class, right? And over here, I'm just going to say this is going to be hello, right? So the name is going to be the hello. And once I click over here, OK, you can see that actually in the source, right? I have already a new file, hello, right? Hello.java. And over here, this is going to be the class name Java. And that's actually on a purpose, right? They need to match. And Java is case sensitive. So over here, if I change this to, let's say, hello like this, you can see that it's spitting everywhere that, that there's something wrong, right? That it's all red. And what has happened, that they don't match anymore, right? So what I do over here, that this is going to be public class hello over here, right? And the same as hello.java uh, actual file name, right? And over here, we're going to type our first method, and which is going to be the main. And then we're going to have a method of print ln, right? And don't worry about them right now. Don't worry about the classes or methods, right? We need to start everything from the scratch, right? So from now on, we just would want to run our first Java program. And then we're going to start with very basics about this variable. And then we're going to get to methods. And then we're going to get to actual classes. So here, I'm just going to write public over here. Then we're going to have a static. And then we're going to have void over here. And this is going to be main. And then we're going to write over here string. And over here, then we're going to have these square brackets like this. And we're going to say args over here like this, right? And then we would want to do actually to perform some kind of action, right? So once we have these curly braces, now within the curly braces, we're actually going to write what we would want. And we would simply would want, let's say, some kind of output, right? We would want to write something, right? And actually, whatever we write, we would want to, to show somewhere here on the screen, right? And over here, the way we do that, over here, system, over here, then we're going to have out, and then we'll have a print, print ln, and that means pretty much printing a new line, right? And over here, we're just going to say, I don't know, hello there, student, right? So I, I can write student, right? But you can write whatever your name is there. So I'm going to say hello, hello there, and I'm going to say student, right? And you see over here, this squiggly over here, red, uh, line right basically what it says over here right expected a semicolon is expected right so we need to make sure that we're actually following the syntax otherwise our program is not going to be working and also if you're actually typing with me make sure again that java is a case sensitive right system over here is not the same as over here system right those are actually this is not going to be working, right? If you're going to be trying to run with a lower letter, right? So what I would want to do over here, I would actually would want to run our first program, right? So I'm just going to do over here. I'm just going to right click it. And over here, we have a run hello main over here, right? So I'm just going to click it over here. And you can see that it's right now it's over here building, right? So it's building. It's going to take, I don't know, a few seconds, right? And over here, you can see that on the right hand side, Probably for you, you're going to have it in the bottom, 
right in the next video i'm going to show you how to navigate in intelli right but probably over here for you in the bottom you'll have the same thing right you'll have a hello there student right so let's test it out let's write it this one with the system right so let's leave it like this and let's actually run it and you can see over here this exclamation mark right away right and you can see that as it's actually building right you can see over here java package system does not exist right error on the line three over here right so this is what i'm talking about if we're not going to be following the syntax right our programs is actually not going to be running so what i'm going to do over here is i'm just going to get rid of this screen again right and again we're going to click over here run right and now this should be running again everything is fine so hello there student and obviously we can type whatever we would want over here right so let's say hello there i don't know people people and the rest rest of the world right of the world right so basically i could write a novel over here right and as long as i haven't changed anything with my syntax this should be working and everything should be fine now also just to quickly show you over here you can see right that we have a source right and this is out right and if you noticed we actually didn't have this folder before right and if we click over here now i see production greeting and hello class right and this is the actual compiled class right this is not the code over here that we actually created this is already compiled class so now that we are actually covered the basics we can move on and we can explore a intelli j interface